Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah. yo. Talk to Mark and Fudge. Episode 24 now. And um, 24.39. 24.39. are, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think uh, we were talking earlier. Bella Tour are doing some big things, man. Big things. Bella Tour are doing big, big things. A lot of people are talking about Bella Tour at the moment. There's, yeah. there's, there's, uh, there's multiple reasons as to why. Yeah. Um, that is, but before we go into, I want to say massive shout out to you know being here in the Renaissance uh, podcast studio. Yeah, our boy Guillaume. Listen, S- hooked us up. Ho- didn't hook us up. Hooked us he up. hooked right up. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, got us, got us in the studio, um, helping us out here. So massive yeah. appreciation. Yeah. And and you know, guys, log into his to his podcast, Renaissance yeah. Podcast. Go on his website, renaissancepodcast.com. Yeah. Uh, it's about meditation, uh, massively important, especially for for you know sporting athletes. This is one thing that very few people talk about. You know yeah. the mental preparation aspects. Yeah, the mental aspects leading up to a fight. Yeah, just before you're about to fight. You exactly. know, or even after the fight. Yeah, yeah. And you know, how people are. You, we were speaking about the other day about um, how Rose must have felt. Uh, yeah, the whole fuck Rose. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going through the whole thing. How yeah. she broke down afterwards. Yeah. Uh, in one of our interviews, yeah, 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 yeah. And again, it's just, it, there's a there's a there's a mental uh, thing that people that just, you don't see because it's not in front of you. It's the invisible battle, isn't it's it? It's the invisible battle. You don't that you don't, you don't see it, it unless you got like the glasses on. Exactly. So those things that we were noticing, her, you know, you're looking for her. To, is, does she look scared? In exactly. The, in the um, weigh-ins, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. then in, in, she looks stone cold in the weigh-ins. Oh, and then in the interview it. afterwards, then the emotion kicks, it kicks in. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone's different. Everyone is different, but yeah. it's, it's about knowing oneself. So. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, like the way you would train a jab and you know, repeat it and yeah. going over and go, you kind of have to go through the same mental preparations yeah. as well and keep repeating and repeating and going over. But yeah, uh, uh, tune in, man, and see if you can learn, especially for the fighters or guys that are training. Yeah, you'll learn a lot, you'll learn a lot. Yeah, Guillaume, um, Guillaume's like five years deep in it, so oh, he knows like veteran. a lot of uh, bruv, full, full <laughs> on veteran. veteran. Get me, man, man, man walks around saying nah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, yeah, get involved, man. Get involved, people. So, continuing with Bellator. Yeah, let's continue go, with Bellator. Let's go, yeah. There's we, a couple. Wanna... There's a couple of things. That I'm, I'm gonna start with the the, the bad man himself, Who's and that? I'm gonna say, bad man. It could be interpreted as roadside bad man. Yeah. Or well, just a very bad man. <laughs> very Mr. Naughty. Very Mr. Naughty. Is it naughty? <laughs> Mr. Naughty. So the naughty Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. <laughs> Makes noise again. That's not unusual. Nah, not at all. Conor not McGregor all. makes noise. Yeah. Where he was making noise is what's unusual, isn't is it? Is what's unusual. Yeah. Is is controversial. I'm I'm sure UFC are pissed. Yeah. And just kicking themselves and probably vexing him, not even because of how he acted. Yeah. And the commission that's all coming involved and getting involved now and blah blah blah. But more because he did that. Yeah. Not on their platform. Not on their platform. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, and, that, um, and obviously, Bellator is the number one leading contender, contender to UFC. To the UFC. A- and especially after they had such a fucking great card. Oh, exactly. Like, everyone was talking about exactly. that card. Exactly. And, and, and Conor McGregor is, took attention away been, from it's it. It's been difficult for the UFC as well, because I find the, the rise of Conor McGregor, yeah. although it is massive for the UFC, mm. it's also been a bit of a... Negative as yeah, well, yeah. The, it, and I've, I think I've explained this before. Like I've spoken to you know, you know on podcasts and in, in some of my interviews before that when Conor McGregor leaves now, yeah, uh, the eyes that he brings, people Ali- are not truly MMA fans. Yeah, They're Conor a fan McGreg- of Conor, Conor McGregor, McGregor yeah. his character, his persona, and I understand it's an it's an appealing, yeah. uh, you know, persona. And he's a, he's a he's amazing on the mic. Mm. He's amazing in interviews. He's, a, he's, he's just, all around. These guys are guys TV, are all perfect. Do you know what's actually amazing? Like in saying that, and I, you know, me just saying he's an all rounder. He's good for TV. He's mm. bad for TV. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's amazing in the ring. He's terrible in yeah, the yeah, ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, you, know, you know what I mean? He's but like, I think he's, he's like everything. You, you, but you need, in, and someone said this to me as well. You need the yin and yang. Yeah, yeah. yeah? 100%. And, and he was actually referring to myself. He's like, 
people are going to love your style and yeah. people are going to hate your yeah, style. Yeah. But with the yin and yang, you get people constantly talking about yeah. your style. The balance. If you, you know, even, even when people just, a lot of people love you. Yeah. It's just kind of like, if uh, a lot of people hate you, mm. kind of, there's, yeah, there's yeah. no, there's not, there's not, there's, you're not, no one really talks about yeah. you. It's like Mighty Mouse. Everyone loves Mighty Mouse. There's no reason to really hate Mighty Mouse. Yeah. Exactly. But no one really talks about Mighty Ex Mouse exactly. despite that there's not... You need both sides. Mm. You do need the negatives and the positives. Mm. And we spoke about things like that before as yeah, well. Exactly. You do need yeah. neg negatives and the positive, uh, positives just to, 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 to build that kind of interest and to yeah. build that kind of yeah. in, in, in intense conversations. Exactly, yeah. Um, but yeah, so his boy... Um, why did I just forget his name? Is it Dunn or something like that? Um, his uh, Charlie Ward. Ward. Oh, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's one of his best friends from from young. Yeah. Uh, you know, they train together still. Um, Charlie Ward was fighting. Charlie Ward fought one of our guys from London Shoot, mm. uh, Galore Bufundo, uh, yeah. in the UFC, which I actually found weird that he was even on Bellator. Yeah, do you know what? Okay, you only just yeah, clocked. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but that's why I was like, it's something done. Yeah, yeah, But when yeah, you said yeah. Charlie Wood, I'm like, oh yeah, 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 that's the name. But then like, now you said, yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to wrap my brain like. Why have you heard it before? Why have I heard it before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, yeah. his face got hadoukened into the, into the canvas. But do you, know, do you know what it is? It's because I'm sure uh, it happened with um, Arnold Allen, where they just kind of wrote him in for one fight. Okay. The, the difference is, Arnold, Arnold Allen came, Allen and, smashed it. It came, and, smacked came it. and smashed it. it. And I think that's probably what it was. It's probably a one fight deal. It was like a last minute opportunity, thing. Opportunity, innit? Opportunity to kind of say, to, you know, show the UFC, yeah. oh, I yeah. deserve to be here. To he got UK. Hadouken, so they yeah. turned, They just turned their attention and yeah, said, exactly, you know what, yeah. we'll keep the guy that Hadouken you in the yeah, face. Yeah, so it's like a, a one fight contract. One basically. fight. Yeah. Might have been more, but he yeah, got yeah. Hadouken in the face. I reckon he could probably get in if he, with Connor being in there, yeah, yeah, you know that's probably like a be a benefit to it. And all he has to do is then couple mash up, couple more man. Yeah, of course, of course. Then, so I watched the fight. Yeah, I don't know if you watched the whole fight. The no, whole I didn't know. Oh no, I haven't seen the fight. So I, I just, watched the I've fight. Seen the to ending be bit. fair, in my opinion, he was losing. It wasn't a long fight. It was in mm. the first round he got the thing, but he was losing that first round. Who? Uh, Charlie Ward. In my opinion, okay, he was yeah. getting backed up. The guys, even even before he it, he came off the cage and landed the, the shot that finished the fight. Yeah, he was getting kneed in his head. He looked a bit wobbly. Mm. He got cut. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the 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 his opponent was just pressuring, and pressuring, and yeah. pressuring him. It was a lot longer, um, and he wasn't looking good. Mm. And he turned. He's one of those guys that got that kind of body shape that at any moment I'm dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah every yeah, single yeah. while I'm alive in that in yeah, that yeah, cage. Yeah, yeah. I'm, da I'm <laughs> you dangerous. You can get it. <laughs> you can get it. You can get. You can be it. beating me up if I'm not finished. If I haven't tapped. If you haven't knocked me out, there's an opportunity for me. Yeah. To he's just got one of those kind of body types. And that's what he did. He landed a, a shot which what rocked him. Then he landed another shot just completely dropped him. Yeah. Completely dropped him. Celebrating. Obviously, you're... I know how it feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Mike Shipman fought on Bama not yeah, too yeah. long ago. Yeah. Alongside Javin and stuff. Yeah. Like, it was such an intense fight, especially in that moment because we yeah, were like, yeah. yo, like Shipman started to... You felt like Shipman was tiring out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, he does a switch step, punches across his opponent. Bam. Spinning sets that fist. bait yeah, yeah. spinning back fist comes yeah. out bow yeah and what happened listen i, I <laughs> like all of us we was behind the railings all of us jumped over railings yeah, yeah. now we one of our boy Fre Co felix Co Co no Connor McClinkenhammer. <laughs> Connor, Connor McClinkenhammer. Connor McClinkenhammer. Connor, Connor McClinkenhammer. Felix. <laughs> got in, I think he got into the cage faster than Bro. Conor McGregor did. I have never seen someone scale. <laughs> he was right next one, to me. But two fences. Why was, Felix, why was Felix next to me? And I looked in the ring. There's a guy in the ring. And I'm, I was about to say, Felix, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped it, over the railings and ran towards the door. Yeah. When I got to the door... Felix was walking back out yeah. past me. So Madness. I was like, uh, sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was confused. And the thing is, he, he wasn't get, walking out. He was getting kicked out by the security. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. I, it, it stopped me walking in <laughs> and I was confused as well. It was hilarious. It's what I understand that kind of moment of explosion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, other sports get it, you know, in uh, like, you know, the, the stopwatch uh, last final yeah, shot yeah, in yeah, basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the, the, all the way from back in the yeah, other end of the court. Yeah, running down and yeah. taking that, like that, you know, that final shot, winning uh, um, to, 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 win a, to win a game, just general yeah. football goals, yeah. that kind of explosion, especially when it's been a tight game. It's that kind of moment. So I understand why, you know, Conor McGregor, your boys, you know, yeah, yeah, he, no, he's, he's lost a couple of fights. Yeah. He jumped in there, yeah. got, got an excited. I feel 
uh, uh, Mark Goddard, I think, because you can't really see, but I think there was other people jumping in as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was trying to deal with everybody at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And it was it was not harsh at all. He was completely in the right. Yeah. He was trying to like, look, I've got to deal with a fighter that's knocked down. Knocked out, yeah. yeah and you guys yeah. are, you guys are not, you guys are not, you know, not, not thinking. thinking about that. Yeah. And again, I understand the excitement, but you guys are not thinking about, you know, my job. Yeah. So yes, get out. Look, you're pushing him away. Okay, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You know, you're you're going to do that. Your guy. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. Get out. Yeah. It was a, the, 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 the smallest of pushes. Yeah. Get out. He turned around to say to another guy, I can see him pointing at someone else saying like, you know, clear out, clear out. Yeah. All of a sudden, the bad boy kicks off. <laughs> the bad the boy. The notorious, the notorious McGregor. McGregor <laughs> kicks off. Yeah. And um, again, I, okay, I see maybe where he might have felt offended by it. I feel it's a bit of an overreaction. Well, the, the reality is, the reality is, you forgot you. What it is McGregor forgot has forgotten himself? Like mm -hmm. you're Conor McGregor, yeah, fantastic. Mm. But at the end of the day, when you step in that cage, you got to show the utmost respect exactly. for the officials, exactly. Because vice versa, and something happens to you, mm. and you're stopping the, um, you know, the medics getting in there, and something happens. You're gonna be. Everyone's gonna be pissed. Okay, so what? What? That's what I found the most disrespectful. Yeah, that fight ended up near enough crushing the person who just been knocked bro, out. Bro, there was some other guy in there. I don't know who that guy was, but it was between him and Conor McGregor were falling over on the, the guy. The, who's okay, guy so yeah, been he's. Uh, um, I'm not sure right, who that guy. He he works for Bellator, so he came to to to, to grab Bellator. Uh, to grab the guy that grabbed Conor McGregor. What the yeah? guy in the suit? No, no, there was oh, a guy no, no, in the okay, suit. That's, yeah. uh, that's McGregor's security. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he was like, like, get the hell out of here, bruv. So he's, but I'm saying he, they're all pushing and falling over. Over the guy who's been yeah. knocked out. But again, you, and he's staggering, you've, taken, he's lost. you've taken Conor McGregor's side. Now your, your security. Yeah. It just means safe. Now yeah, if yeah, get he's your... running into danger, yeah. grab Conor yeah. McGregor yeah, 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 and put, yeah, yeah, put yeah, him yeah, away. Yeah. Why are you then pushing? Someone else. The officials. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you're making it worse. But he's probably, not he's, better. if he knows, if he knows them, Mm -hmm. in his head he's probably thinking because he maybe because of that push he's probably still got his job with Conor McGregor so possibly him doing that because remember okay he, but my, my thing is still I know you've done bits of security and stuff yeah as yeah well. yeah you've pushed the guy clear this guy out not yeah, push yeah, yeah, pushed yeah, yeah, because yeah, 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 now you're not yeah. I'm not focusing yeah, on yeah. The, per I'm not, the person I'm supposed to be protecting yeah yeah is now here getting pushed by some, maybe yeah, yeah, somebody yeah, else yeah, exactly yeah, yeah I'm exactly, focusing yeah. on my yeah, ego yeah. and put 100% he's done that wrong do you understand yeah, what I'm saying so it might, it might, it might I, I still think he's that's still been that yeah. was incorrect and again you've made it worse this guy's still stumbling over himself and people are now falling over him yeah it was bad. Yeah, yeah, no, hundred, hundred percent. When bad. I when I saw that video, I was like, "Is this for real? Is yeah, this yeah. like some kind of joke thing?" And I was like, "Hold on, this is Bellator." But here's the here's the wickedest thing: Bellator are laughing. Yeah, of course, bruv. How many views did that? How many views did that get? Nah, they are laughing. How many views did that get? Ten million. At least, at least minimum. minimum. <laughs> <laughs> real talk, bruv. Real talk. <laughs> and the thing is, what made me, what made it more funny for me is. Spike TV were like, come, come watch Spike, Spike TV later yeah. on at nine. Conor McGregor walks in the cage and da, da, da. It had nothing to do with their fighters. <laughs> it was all about, they were advertising. Yeah. Come watch me later because Conor McGregor is pushing our ref. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Mad, like, yeah. I get it, but it is mad. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? He's getting like, the views up. Exactly. That's it. That's what so they care about. Again, I know UFC, like I uh, we was talking earlier, I think UFC uh, a bit disappointed or pissed off that, as you said, they had an amazing show the yeah. other day. Uh, last week, was it? Brother, it was last week. That's and what I'm saying, man. You, we were all forgetting. Week, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and, uh, and now, all of a sudden, the attention's been taken because of Conor McGregor, but yeah. brought to a to, different to, yeah, arena. To a different show, yeah. You no one's not I mean? thinking UFC now. Yeah, They're yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah. Oh, Conor McGregor on Bellator. Oh, what? Is Conor McGregor on Bellator? Yeah. Bellator, Bellator. It's you know what I mean? All, but Bellator have been doing well. They, they've been... They're stepping it up. I think their signings... Uh, have been helping, although it's a lot of UFC veterans mm. um, that are coming in, which still kind of makes me feel like you guys are still almost considering yourself as second place mm. in the way they're do, doing. Do you know stuff. what? Like I was, I was thinking about that, you know, mm. and I think what that really shows is the monopoly that UFC had on the MMA world. No, yeah, that the fact that because there's so many, like for all the names in all the different weight divisions. Um, and the guys that are coming from UFC over to Bellator or have fought in UFC and they're coming over to Bellator, those are like the top guys in MMA. Mm. And it, like, if you think of any other competitions, 
we th there's no one really um who's still about who's still relevant who can still probably do it at that level mm -hmm. who's not from UFC mm. do you know what I mean and I think that's what it is so even though Bellator you, you kind of got to respect Bellator in a sense that they understand that okay cool this is what we got this is what we're going to work with mm -hmm. but they they're obviously going to uh there's certain things that they're going to do so like once they build this up it's going to attract more fighters 100% 100% they more people are not just going to consider themselves they consider their only option is UFC yeah 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 they're going to be like well you know what i can actually get you know a, a, a massive fan base a massive following in my craft yeah being on Bellator yeah 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 as well yeah. which is and again i think it helps there's every single fighter in MMA, and I've been saying this since I came to MMA. Mm. Every guys in UFC, guys outside of UFC, wanted an an external uh, organization to do just as well as UFC. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Simply for the free agency, yeah, yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah. Having having competition, competition you need means it. Yeah. we get more money. You say competition get, is healthy. Uh, it is. It yeah. is. Obviously, you've done right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, 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 it's healthy. It's gonna be. It's always healthy for someone, though, isn't it? Oh no! Of course, of course, of course, <laughs> At the course, end of the day, mm. you know what I mean. I'm. I'm gonna. The potential customers that you're trying to make, you're gonna do the groundwork for me, mm. and then you're gonna bring everyone to me. Exactly. So exactly. E either way, you know, uh, UFC um, are laughing to an extent mm. with regards to what they've been doing. You know, they've tried a thing with uh, bigging up someone like Conor McGregor, who has benefited them to an extent, but it kind of like when you, we look at the long run, we kind of say, well, you haven't got anyone else in there mm. like Conor McGregor. Like you've, 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 you've put together a model, mm. but it doesn't work for everybody. Mm. And the problem is Conor McGregor's one guy. And when he's not there, what they've done on this weekend, they kind of like brought it for me that brought back the old UFC mm -hmm. you know when you used to want to watch with Chuck Liddell yeah, and all yeah, those yeah. guys there you know GSP and GSP was on this mm -hmm. one as well mm -hmm. so GSP was like the revival it was actually bringing it back to those mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. but yeah like we said it's kind of been undone a little bit I think I think so and this is why they're having to do monster cards mm -hmm. like this or like last week yeah with the likes of TJ Dillashaw um, Cody Garbrandt, yeah. you know, Joanna Rose. Yeah, that was um, a freaking like, mad it, card. Michael, yeah. It was a massive card. Yeah, mad. And they probably, Conor McGregor will still blow those numbers away. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's how well, well, upsetting it is. The potential fight was going to be Conor Who was McGregor going to fight? He was meant to fight someone in December, wasn't oh. he? Is that the fight I, that he got cancelled? No, no, I thought Habib was meant to have another fight before that. Thinking. Before he got... Uh, no, I'm thinking another name. Yeah, no, I, th I think he was meant to... Um, I'm trying to think who it was. It wasn't Diaz. It was, um, mm. it might have been, was it Ferguson? It's like in my head, I don't know I have Ferguson. Wouldn't, it wouldn't have been Holloway, would it? No, I haven't heard that name come up. But you know, we can have a yeah, look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you can check that out. Um, but um, it, put it this way, they're saying that his fight's cancelled. Yes, in, in due December. To the, due to commi the commissions. Uh, yeah, and I actually think that's a good thing for UFC. Because, mm -hmm. well, they're going to have to put in work. They're going to have to get used to. So they've already put, they've shown that, they can do a really good show without Conor McGregor, have a main he okay. headline show without Conor McGregor. Their last show this weekend, Just Gone, wasn't that bad. Um, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, you haven't heard much about it, but it, w it was one of their filler shows. And it, for a filler show, it was actually, it was but quite... This is, but this is my point. Why, why do you have filler shows? This, yeah, is, but, this is not episodes yeah, okay. of Naruto. Okay, fam. think of it like this, yeah? They can afford to have filler shows while... Um, Bellator don't have that kind of draw just yet. Bellator are, are relying on their UFC fighters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I mean, still, it, that's it, what, it still that's gets what, people talking about, yeah, no, about of Bellator. Of course, but even when Bellator have a UFC fighter on there, it's, Bellator's still not it's, spoken about of course, in, 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 in that, in, that in, regard. In yeah, I know what you mean. So UFC, they got a little bit There's of time to, to yeah, so they've got a little, yeah, they've got a little bit of time to play with it. Mm -hmm. So between now and Christmas, Conor McGregor not because the fans are fickle. Mm. McGregor's gonna fade. Like that might be a good thing where they can build up. They got an opportunity but to build up people in a different is where way. I believe that they're they're not doing well. Now we've spoken again. We've spoken about this before. Mm. I don't know if it's done to, down to just Dana White, but the guys in UFC are not promoting others. Was, yeah, yeah. Well yeah. enough. Yeah. Or they are focusing on. Uh, they're, they're very one dimensional. They want yeah. a loud mouth come forward, just knock yeah. out specialists. Yeah, yeah. And not everybody fights like that. Mm. This is the reason mm. why it's mixed martial arts. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get mixed, a mixture of arts yeah. and personalities to yeah, go yeah, along yeah, with 100%. it. And you need to be able to cater for 
different mm. styles personalities and be able to be like he's the bad guy he's the superhero he's yeah. the you know he's the people's champ everyone should be fitted in somewhere well, and have their as, own as kind of seeing, it doesn't work for everybody either mm-hmm. so when we're talking about whole mindfulness um you know the, the space we're using today that's what it kind of focuses on i'm gonna come out i feel that in order to meet for me to make money i have to be someone that i'm not mm-hmm. Now I'm losing focus on the focus that I have for my fight. So I, is that a case of what happened to Joanna? You know, in that sense there where she was so focused on building her brand now, thinking that like really underestimating Rose, even though like the way she started, I think she was actually quite nervous, but that could have changed her whole, her whole approach. She could have gone, she could have stepped into that cage thinking, fuck, why do I feel like this? Mm. Like, I've gone into competitions and so I thought, times, yeah, yeah, I've gone into competitions. Like the, when I fought in Amsterdam, I remember walking up and down the mat and luckily there was a delay and I was saying to Louise, I was like, Louise, something was wrong. I don't feel nervous. He's like, what? I said, I don't feel nervous. He goes, come Marvin, come on, man. Do, you know, do your thing, do your thing. So I thought, I went, I walked away and I came back and I just started laughing mm. and I had to say to myself, I'm in training. Mm. This is just training. It's like a training session. Like, enjoy it. Like, stop putting so much pressure on yourself. Like, I, you know, you do your little routine up walking mm. up and down the mat. And and that made a difference. So when I went, I, as soon as I started laughing, I had that in my head. I was laughing. I went up to the guys like, hey, because before I was doing a stone cold, mm. respectful, mm. but I'm about to, nah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to break you up. Yeah, yeah, but, nah, but this one, I was just like, hey, man. Da, da, da. And then I started doing my bouncing and all of that stuff. And it was like, you know, when he, if he grabbed me, I was like, you know, relax. My body was relaxed. And then that worked for me. Yeah, yeah. But. I had, I had, luckily I had time to think, Mm-mm-mm. yeah? For Joanna, it was a case of, it was all in the motion. Cause we both said like, when you call me the next Immedi- day, immediately. it was like, you was like, we were both saying, I was like, bro, that's the same thing I spotted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why was her jab off? Like she's yeah. normally, uh, she you know. a couple she, punches and, and it, was, got her it was miles off, miles Crazy. off. Crazy. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, I know I think like, like, it mental aspect. Yeah. Massively yeah. important. Um, but, but yeah, I think maybe yeah, maybe it is that you know Dana White is just is 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 one dimensional yeah, in, yeah. in how he markets, um, and that's it. But I don't, I, you know, the the time will tell to see how you know where Bellator kind of go to from here. But I yeah. think I, on top of that, just they just seem to every two seconds Bellator just got new news, mm. new news, mm. new news, new news, mm. and obviously they've got this big heavyweight. Whoa competition coming out because they don't have a heavyweight division really at all yeah. and uh you know the, it, to be fair it, they've literally taken ufc fight uh, after ufc fight yeah, after yeah. ufc fight to near enough make their um the heavyweight division so let's have a look yeah um let me go back one. click it there can you see it on there okay cool yeah cool so big signing frank me frank me big signing yeah. legend Legend, yeah, and but this is where again I'm, I'm so confused. How many legends of MMA first, yeah. which technically is UFC, yeah, yeah, in terms of legendary status, mm. yeah, are all in Bellator now, mm. yeah. The, the Hoist Gracies, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of all the other names like that, the um, Ken, uh, Ken Shamrock, Rock, so yeah. all these guys, TOTs, yeah, all these guys are Bellator mm. fighters now, yeah. And this is where I think you know, it's almost like, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna have to use your team. Yeah, Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, no, go and use them. Use them. Use them. Use them. Use them. How many times have they brought these these kids up to be absolute superstars? Yeah. And, and when they're gone. about to like make a, a serious team, they they're sell them. Else. Yeah, they sell them. Yeah. They don't keep their started even down to uh, coaching. Yeah, they don't have the, all their all their superstar players. They end up coaching for other people's teams. Why? Yeah, why? Yeah, why yeah. does that happen? Yeah. No, you should be keeping your that that knowledge is hard to. Invest. It's hard to put that kind of knowledge into someone. Bruv, it's the, the, the so mental to lose as, it. The mental aspect. Yeah. Like to deal with somebody firsthand on that level, mm-hmm. who can then break down the mental aspect, and you are gonna respect that. Mm-hmm. Imagine if I. It's like it's like me and you going somewhere, mm. and people who don't know me, mm. and I'm trying to tell them something, not realizing that me and you think quite similar. Mm-hmm. We know we've come up the same way. Mm. We've for years we've been uh back and forth, back and forth mm. on the mental aspect, on the physical mm-hmm. aspect, mm-hmm. on tactics and stuff like that. Mm. In fighting, but they will see me and think, "Oh, I don't know. I haven't heard of you." Mm. So I've I I I'm, I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Yeah, it exactly. doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Whereas, yeah. you know, Mike comes and says, "Yeah, 
just do one push up a day. Oh my God, yeah, it's got to be, yeah. it's got to be 100% yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And that, and just those, that small little extra detail of knowing who you are and having exactly, that history. Exactly. Or see, being able to have seen your history. Or Z- Zidane, Real Madrid. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That's one of the perfect examples, isn't look it? Look at that. Look yeah. at that. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, Zizou. Yeah. We're getting salutes over there. Head, <laughs> head what is this? Yeah. <laughs> you heard Zidane might come to MMA. <laughs> Zizou. <laughs> <laughs> legends. Yeah. Legends. Legends. But yeah, it's exactly that. So I just think, again, that that is is helping Bellator mm. massively. Yeah. So they have Frank Mir, who's a massive signing. Frank Mir. Who can't, uh, come on. Charles Sonnen, who... Um, you know, yeah. he, he's he's not too long, not too long had, had come over yeah. from the UFC as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. He was the Conor McGregor of back in the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was the, the all American talk bad himself, boy. talk himself into talk a fight. Talk himself into yeah. every fight Fighters. in every yeah, weight yeah. division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever he yeah. wanted to, he can talk himself into yeah. a fight. He could lose five times in a row. It did not yeah. matter because he had a following, because he had a big mouth. Yeah. He's that guy, and but he is a very technical wrestler. Yeah. And again, I know these guys are getting on, but they're still, you, do, you don't lose that kind of stuff yeah, yeah, at yeah. all. So Charles Sonnen's there. Uh, Matt Mitrione. Now we've seen him uh, 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 fight was multiple he, times he was in Bellator already. He was already. over here, wasn't he? Was it Matt? Was yeah, he came yeah, over. Yeah, he, came yeah, over. Yeah. He, does, he does some, some like commentary work and stuff. Mm. Really nice guy. Mm. Um, really funny guy. Yeah. But, and a tough man, a jammer, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Real, tough, real tough guy. Like him and that Fado fight, that little double knockdown thing. Mm. The way he bounced up was like, I, I'm used to being knocked down. Bro, you know the ones that when little kid falls over, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. As they're rubbing yeah, their yeah. head, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> One of them was. But yeah, he's just, he's just, uh, he just, it just seems like just taller. He's a, he's a bit yeah, of a, uh, yeah. For me, when I looked at, when I looked at that lineup, mm. he was one of them that I was like, hmm. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. If I, if I like, He's a problem just because he he can just still be in the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit him with everything you got. Yeah. And you're still there. Why? Why won't you just die? Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Die, please. Die. Just die. (laughs) So, like, yeah, Matt Mitchell is uh, is Mm -hmm. the boss. So, obviously, you've got Roy Nelson, another UFC. Big country. Big country, man. Another UFC, you know, veteran, another UFC, big name. Yeah. Big person, big guy. Yeah, yeah, big guy, yeah. And, um, Again, someone that again, just if you know if you're if you're into UFC, you'd know these names. Yeah, like yeah. you're just you're like, wow, what he fights where now? Like mm. what? Seriously, yeah, what yeah. big country, you yeah. know, a big knockout man. You know what I mean? And appearances is is, is you know, people love um uh you know gimmicks. Yeah, yeah. He was his own gimmick because yeah. again, this he's one of those he's, he doesn't he just look doesn't like look a fighter. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't look like look an MMA part. fighter when you got your MMA. Yeah, totally yeah, typical ripped. this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Then you yeah. see big country coming. You're like, oh, this guy's. Got, I feel. So, yeah, you know, yeah, you feel yeah, bad yeah, for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. This guy's gonna get whacked up all of a sudden. Bam! <laughs> so, man, I sleep yeah. and he's still standing. And he's still standing. He was a, he was an amazing character yeah. just, just for that purpose alone, yeah. as well as the the, the, the fight and that he's, he'd won. He, he, he's massive on the sense of with regards to marketing. So, to be fair, I don't really recall Big Country mouthing off and whatever. Yeah, no, no, no. The, the fact that he's big, he's called Big Country. Mm. He is like your uh, not like obviously they call they normally call these all American guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, guys who like ex military and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah. for me, he represents. Uh, you know, just uh, a, a, another side of America mm. that we associate with Americans. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like he's just like you know, you know, your typical guy. He looks like he drinks beer. He looks like he's cool. Looks like he rides a motorbike. Mm. That kind of stereotypical yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, guy that you would look at and say, okay, yeah, you know, he he's he's either country or wrestling or he's rock. Yeah, yeah do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, just yeah. that kind. You would kind of look at him. Typical so look, yeah. he's a he's a draw. Definitely. He's a draw. Especially so like we talk about Chelsea, like you got Chell Sonnen who's your all American wrestler, yeah, blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got big country who's yeah, that it's, a, like, it's a different look. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, what yeah. We're just talking about personalities of being able to market yeah. them differently. You've yeah. got the big mouth, but you've got a guy that just represents mm. just just culture. Yeah. In, in yeah, general, yeah. Like what we associate with, as you say, mm. uh, you know, specific types of Americans. Yeah, yeah. And which a lot of Americans can appeal to. Yeah, exactly. Immediately. Yeah. So he, he looks like me. I could do it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. So um I'm gonna I'm gonna stick I'm gonna stick with the um the the all the UFC guys yeah. first yeah of course Glover. Rampage Jackson yeah Rampage just signed again yeah like this guy does not know what he wants to do <laughs> he's confused yeah. but I want to know when he wasn't when he's not doing before he what was he doing what is he doing like I don't I don't well he's, he, he he's kind of reminds me of Kanye West right yeah. now why because he blows up yeah he eats some and King Mo yeah yeah was putting it on him yeah 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 online yeah. but. I don't know what he's what he, what he's doing. I, yeah. I, it, it's a shame because 
Rampage is a boss. Yeah, yeah, of course. A hundred, Rampage is a boss. Pride days, all them yeah. Pride days. He's a boss. We all know that. He's heavy handed. Mm. You don't lose that. Yeah. He's still, he's still going to be a problem. Um, but for me, like even him going into the movies, mm. I think there was some problems that he had. I watched one interview a while ago and he, like people were asking, you know, what, what are you going to do any more movies? Mm. He's like, yeah, well, when UFC take the chains off me. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that was a bit of a, bit of a, dig yeah yeah then he left and I was like okay that makes sense he's now he's gonna do movies yeah then he went back like he had a problem yeah. with Bellator and I know yeah. him and uh, King Mo like it's people think that we put this stuff on yeah now there's certain times where yeah you when I say you put it on it doesn't mean I, I I'm hyping yeah it doesn't mean I dislike you. Mm. It's just like, we're about you're to my, fight. Yeah, so you're I'm my aware, opponent. You're my opponent. Don't try any friendly stuff. Yeah, Don't yeah. try it from, this is my mindset. That we're talking about the mindset. Mindset. Yeah, so I'm yeah. putting myself in war zone. Mm. I mean, you can't be yeah. shaking hands I, I and chilling to and be, drinking. I have to be, remember you spoke about Giorgio. Exactly. <laughs> I, I have to be, yeah. He has, he has to be in that mindset. <laughs> he takes it to the stream. Yeah. He, he turns Giorgio's into next, like, Giorgio's next level. Sparta. Yeah, yeah. hundred percent. Yeah, so these, these these guys they, they they get into that mode. So some some people when it's not fake, but you mm. have to turn it on. It's just yeah, part a yeah. part of being a it's fight warrior. Mode. It's fight mode. It's fight mode. I mean fight mode. Don't talk to me. Exactly. Shut him out. Don't talk. So to me. then you've got guys that genuinely don't like each mm. other. These two were not even allowed to be in the same hotel. Madness. And I was fighting on the same show. Yeah. They were not allowed to be in the same hotel. When they were in the same room, you were like. It could be could silent, yeah, but there was fireworks. You could feel the tension. It's silent, yeah, and there was fireworks mm. going off. Yeah, we had a um, uh, a media day where a lot of these that like, we had the thing called the up and coming fighters, new stars, and I was one of them. Yeah, and then you had you know the you know the, the just the big stars, which was you know King Ma uh, King uh, King Mo Rampage, all, all those kind of guys, um, uh, Michael Chandler at the time. Yeah, and we we're doing like photo shoots and this and that, and <laughs> it was. Um, What's his name now? I just forgot. I forgot this guy's name. He was in Bellator and actually left to go to Kel. Um, no, not Kel Brooks. Um, it's Brooks. Brooks, isn't it? That so, guy. Brooks. Don't know why I forgot his name. We'll come oh, Will Brooks. Will Brooks. Okay, Will Brooks. so <laughs> apologize. Uh, Will Brooks. Um, they, we was doing like a group shot where all of us are standing, uh, standing around. Yeah. And we like posing. You get, obviously, everyone knows the tension that's going on. And then Will Brooks is like. Hey Mo, why are you in a rampage wearing exactly the same clothes? Like, is that, uh, was that on, was that on purpose? Uh, so everyone uh, looked at <laughs> <laughs> they kind of looked at King Mo. Uh, and he's got like jeans and he had like silver trainers, which is not like a common. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like, not something that you wear like a white shirt. Yeah. And then we turn around and look at Rampage, and he's got black blue jeans, silver, silver trainers, train. oh. and a everyone Bro. was like, <laughs> like started dying, yeah. But the thing is, where this is where I was like, King, uh, King Mo just keeps it real. He's a hundred percent real. Yeah. He, he, he have a hundred percent hates you, or a hundred percent doesn't like it. There's no in between. Yeah. So a lot of the guys he gets on with. Yeah. And everyone's everyone's been joking. Rampage always kept to himself, and he didn't mm. have a lot of people there at the time. Yeah. So he kind of almost excluded himself. So he mm. wasn't really involved in talking because yeah. obviously King Mo's there. You kind of don't want to talk to him. Yeah. So he kind of kept himself distant. So when people are laughing now. You're now because you're not involved in that laughter. Yeah, yeah, King yeah. Mo laughed it off and was just yeah, like, yeah. "Hey, I don't dress like this bitch." Yeah, 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 and yeah. he started running him. Yeah, yeah. Big and because people are still <laughs> laughing. Yeah, I, I I saw in the camera screen mm. like Rampage face. I was like, "Yo, shit's about to go down." Yeah. Like he <laughs> he was visibly like nuts. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to break this whole studio, yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. whole studio apart. Like, <laughs> but I think he he was that was a bit of his his pride and, mm. da, 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 yeah, like, yeah. and not being able to just be involved with everybody yeah. just to sit down and just chill. But Rampage is a killer, man. And them two being in the same division is going to yeah. be... The, well, that, that is... But it, it's mad because I don't... I mean, I know obviously Rampage... I don't... For me, he hasn't performed like as well yeah, as yeah. he has. Like it's something he that's... too much time out. Yeah, well, this is it. Like, some, like he's dropped off. Like you can see, he wants he has the potential to do good, but if you haven't been uh, as active, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you lose. Like in your brain, you can do certain things, yep, yep. but when it comes time to your body doing it, you can't do mm -hmm. it, and then you exhaust yourself. Yeah, exactly. So, I, like in in that in that there, I actually see probably like for me, Chell Sonnen and Rampage are probably the two weakest links in mm -hmm. there out, okay. of the, out of the ones we've mentioned so far. I don't I don't know 
Well, we've more, seen Chelsea what, in a bit more of, yeah, of, of, of more recent. But, he's not you know, as sharp yeah, as, yeah, as, as Yeah, but he, then he's to lost be. to Tito the other day. Oh, uh, was that this year or last year? The years gone by so quick. I feel like it might have been last year. Or it might be right at the beginning of this year. Yeah, like that that loss, I was like, wow. That look, that look was a lot simpler than I thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I mean? everyone was like, "Oh, was that fixed?" And yeah, I don't think I don't think it. I don't think it was. I think he'd been. I don't think it was. He just he not, had been out for a while. So yeah, he looked a little bit off. I know what you mean though. Mm. And then obviously we got Ryan Bader, who I think is a massive contender, who's yeah. not necessarily the biggest of names at, across the board. Mm. Um, but Ryan Bader again, another UFC ex UFC guy that's mm. coming not not too long ago. Yeah, has the belt. Yeah, you know, beat Phil Davies, who's. Another ex UFC mm, guy, yeah, yeah, but he's a legit like Phil Davis is like legit mm. um, uh, light heavyweight yeah, contender, yeah, yeah, yeah. and in, in across the world of MMA, yeah. Um, Ryan Bader came and they had a, a very close back and forward. Ryan Bader took it, mm. then my boy Linton Vassell, uh, he deserved the the, the, the chance, yeah, yeah. Uh, to, to 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 fight for the belt. Fought fought Ryan Bader, but Ryan Bader felt it just felt like he walked him, yeah, yeah, a little bit like it was. He just so aggressive, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put yeah. it, just kind of put it on him. Uh, Linton didn't seem like he was himself. Mm. He wasn't the best Linton I've yeah, ever yeah. I've well, seen. But when we saw him fight McGeary, that was for me. Yeah, that was that's what I'm trying to say. Like, he was so on point. And, and, and I, I don't know, I don't know. What it, and this is what I'm trying to say about the mental aspect. It, you can be on and off, on yeah, and off, might, and on bro, and off. I think he was just more up for it. I think mm. it was more. You know, I'm fighting a, another British fighter. I don't want to be like everyone's. You talk about Linton, Vassell, and McGeary before that fight. Everyone was was new about McGeary. Uh, they might not have heard about Linton that much. Okay, yeah. I, f I think McGeary was more the man of the moment yeah. of that fight. I, I think, think the more pressure he, was he, on he, McGeary. He, he, yeah, 100%. And mm. that's, he'd been the champion. Mm. And also, he he kind of developed himself in the States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you see what I mean? So yeah. where Linton Vassell, again, well, the UK was growing. I remember mm. when I was doing my first fights, Linton Vassell was, you know, yeah. doing, doing, doing big things in the UFC, uh, in the UCMMA. Yeah. Uh, and you know, people were already talking about him going, oh, he's going to go UFC and yeah, blah, blah, yeah. blah from when I first came in. So he's been around for a minute, mm. but in the UK scene and the UK yeah, scene yeah. was still only growing, yeah, yeah, still quite yeah. small. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, it wasn't his best day. Mm. So Ryan Bader, but he did look, he did look sharp and he's, yeah, yeah. he's for me, he's definitely going to be a massive contender. Yeah. And so for me, if you, right, who would you, cause I mean, we haven't okay. seen Frank Mir, if yeah. you know what I mean, we yeah, haven't we seen have, Frank Mir. Seen oh, him, sorry. Yeah. And let me go back to a couple oh, of guys that we haven't Fe spoken yeah. about. Fedor. Fedor. We've, now we've seen Fedor. Yeah, yeah, we've seen Fedor. Yeah. Uh, and he's, again, he's one of those guys that I'm, I'm always dangerous. Yeah, 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 yeah. While I'm still in the game. Yeah. I just don't he's think... Not I just, I don't, I just he's not massively all well yeah. rounded. Like, like you say, I always think, obviously with Fedor, there's still that risk that that kick will come up. That's or, <laughs> you know what I mean? He, he'll, he'll just catch you at any moment. Mm. But I just, again, I think... Uh, you know, he's dropped off pace a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys like Bader, I think will probably- A little bit sharper. A little bit sharper. Uh, and again, there's always that, because of that legendary status that Fedor has, mm. it's like, I, I, you, you, you're a bit more on point. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not going to make that mistake. I'm worried, it's his kick that I'm worried about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always looking out for that kick. So I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Um, uh, like, yeah, for me- uh, Fedor is not, he, I don't, not to say he's not a contender. Uh, he, he can win a fight out of there depending on how it works. But I don't well, see him. The interesting thing yeah. is his first fight yeah. is against. Against me. Frank Mir. Yeah, you're saying, isn't it? Yeah. So um, that's, uh, and Frank, we know, we already know how Frank Mir is. Mm. And I think he's a lot more well-rounded, crazy experience, crazy well, experience. I, I, One of the most experienced I hope he's UFC get, fighters. I hope he gets his fitness up for this. Oh, he has to be ready for it. He has. I, to I hope he does. He I hope he takes. I hope he. When takes is this? When is this? Anyway, this is uh, 2018. 2018. So yeah, don't say that. Don't have a, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't see a date there just yet. But I can find out for everyone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's 2018. So it's next year. So he's got plenty of time. Yeah. He's got yeah. plenty yeah. of time. I, if he if he gets his fitness up, he's definitely yeah a real a real contender. And my boy, mm. as I've spoken about him already, King, King Mo. Mo himself. Yeah. That guy is it, something else. Yeah, he you know what? He just he's like the right size to do to kind of fight anybody. Yeah, and he's up for fighting anybody because yeah. he's not that big mm. in comparison. But you know what it is? His takedowns are like Goldberg. In, yeah, yeah. Like he he spears man across yeah. the stage, like across the cage. Like 
I remember when he fought um, Czech Congo. Yeah. And the, some of the takedowns, like he, he literally just charged. And Czech, Czech Congo is visibly yeah, 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 of course, a yeah, monster massive, in comparison. Massive, yeah, 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 massive. Um, I'm actually surprised he's not even on this on this um thing. Because to mm. be fair, I haven't actually seen him fight for a little bit. I have to check and see what's actually happened with him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised well, he's not. He's not on. He's not. On, you know, a part of this. Yeah. When I when I saw this lineup, my three picks were Beda, mm -hmm. Mitrone, and King Mo. Those were those were my three. And the reason why I say King, right, if you uh, had to go chop two more again. Chop two more. What? And so, two. and just give your. Who do you reckon? Who do you, I think we'll take it. We'll take like. I, I think. I think. I think Beta will take it. So you got Beta. I, I, so I he, think, he I will think. be. Would he be the first? He would be the first two weight world champion in Bellator. Yeah, I believe. Okay, he's got the belt now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I believe I, he'll be the first. He, he was. He was the first one that came to me, but I was like out of the three because again, it's how they match them up. Of course, of course. Of it's course, how course. they match them up. But the, and the reason why I picked King Mo over Frank Mir was simply because the time of uh, that interview we done with King Mo mm -hmm. and we sat down with him and I done my research beforehand. The guy's come through so much. Mm. His mentality is, he. people might not look at him as the most talented overall or the most exciting fighter, but what they don't really, King Mo does what he has to do to get the win. Mm. And he's got that mentality where he would do his homework and he would do just enough. And if, if, if the fights go the right way, I reckon he is, he could be the, the out of all of them, the better tournament fighter. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where, where if things well, go. Well, here's where I slightly disagree. Hmm. Slightly. We've seen him in a tournament hmm. style uh, uh, in, in Bellator already. Yeah. And he fought Linton Vassell. Okay. And this is where Phil Davis ended up winning hmm. because he fought Linton Vassell and then couldn't continue. Yeah. To, so again. Oh, was that, but was he injured? He got injured during okay, that fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he won. Yeah. So he beat Linton, then was, couldn't uh, mm. fight uh, Phil Davies afterwards. Phil Davies went through to fight for the title yeah. and won the title. Um, Remember, I'm not sure how exactly had it. I don't think it's, it's, not, it's all on one day. So mm. I'm not sure how they're doing it. I think that's, that, you know, they'll match them up. Yeah, yeah, one yeah, show yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe a few months in between. But he's he's not the biggest one out of all of them. This way, it's, it's gonna he, he'll like he'll, he'll to take a bit injured. of a pounding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, to his yeah. body, and he he got injured yeah. again the other day. Yeah, so he, he, uh, yeah, because to be honest with you, I see if Mo winning majority of them being decisions. Yeah, if it, of yeah. his wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, he has, that, he has taking got, him down, yeah, controlling yeah, man. He has got knockout. He has got knockout power. Of course, but when you're you're punching up, you know what I mean? He's not punching on his weight. So what's the we're saying that me. Uh, Fado was the f first fight, yeah. Have that. Have well, this, I, this the only reason I know that is because I, I I seen uh, Frank Mir on a uh, on a podcast the mm. other day talking about uh, just announcing the fact okay. that he's signed to Bellator yeah. and then that he's in a tournament and the fa the fact that he's excited to be fighting Fado yeah. immediately because he's obviously he'd like to fight him, but he was like maybe it should be better if it was a tournament thing. He's like, but mm. he doesn't know what he's going to do on the other side. Okay, so let's yeah. just get it done now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I didn't do any research as to who else who else they've, they've, yeah, they've yeah. matched up. But yeah. you know, we can look into that mm. and um and and see who else they're fighting. Yeah. I think that it'd be interesting to see what goes on. I'd actually like to follow their build up because I want to see who's really serious about this because all of these guys, uh, you know, for me, if, if who who would you who popped into your mind? as the possible uh, belt holder, belt, the belt taker for this one? When you first I, saw it. It's weird, because again, I depending on what Frank Mir shows up, mm, mm. only because Jits is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand up at some point, like yeah, he, knows yeah, yeah. he knows how to wrestle. He's very yeah. well, he's very well-rounded, yeah. very durable. Yeah, yeah. And the biggest, one of the biggest fighters in that, mm. in that whole uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of of all of them, yeah, he's probably yeah. the one of the most. He's probably one of the most natural heavyweights. Yeah, yeah. So again, he's he's not. These guys are punching up. Mm. So even if he you manage to land a good a good shot on him, yeah, it's not the same that he's been used to getting. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know I mean, obviously you have got the the Roy Nelson. I just don't think he's as sharp, yeah. and it'll be a bit easier to read. Um, for me, it was and then it, and then it's uh, the, uh, next to that, it would be King Mo. Yeah, and. As you say, I just think he's he's got the ability to take every single one of them guys down. Yeah. Not there's not one person on there I can see like really defending his kind of take. Now if he mm. decides to go, instead of trying to just be boxing all the time, just, yeah. just take these guys down yeah. 
and just beat them up on the floor and he can do that for three yeah. rounds yeah. every single time yeah. and like you say win on decision mm. obviously depending on maybe where they're fighting or what yeah. happened because it happened to him against Rampage Jackson and I do yeah. agree that he won the first time they fought he won mm. that fight and but they gave it to Jackson and they gave it to Jackson yeah, yeah. but technically speaking he won obviously mm. he received a bit more damage mm. but technically speaking in terms of the takedowns and you know mm. every round yeah, and the, yeah, score, the control yeah. and the way the, the way you should score an MMA fight he won so make that might not work mm. depending on what they're looking to depending on what judges you get on the day yeah yeah so I I'm, I'm still gonna go I'm gonna go King Mo I'm gonna go King Mo I'm yeah. gonna go King Mo yeah cool um, but this is exciting stuff like I said Bellator seems to be just being it just seems to be announced every time I even open up every day I open up onto Instagram or mm. or you know to see anything from Bellator it's just like another yeah. announcement another announcement yeah. And yet again, there is another announcement. So I seen this, yeah, and I was like, "Yeah, that's big. That looks that yeah. looks serious." All these names on here are crazy. So that's going to be a, a, a an amazing fight. Then all of a sudden, I see uh, someone sent me a link of um, Jack Jack Swagger. Now you might not know but Jack Swagger because don't know Jack Swagger. He's a WWE, yeah. Uh, so wrestling, entertainment wrestling uh, superstar. Yeah, uh, he's a big name. Kind of came. He's a bit more fairly new. Mm. I say fairly new. I'm saying last five years, six years, yeah. he's been kind of like big on the scene. He's been, I think he's been doing it for about 10 years, but mm. he was never one of those kind of rock like type stars. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. he's yeah, big. Yeah, because I've never heard of him. Yeah, yeah but he's, he's big. Like obviously the rock is, a, he's like the Conor McGregor versus everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I mean? So there are other superstars that are massive. Like you've got the likes of John Cena that's got a wave. Jack, yeah. Sa- Jack Swagger had his little wave yeah. when he first came in. What, he was a bit of an evil he guy. Like, was he weird? Like, is it, is nah, he's suits? basic. He's yeah. just a wrestler. Not, not, yeah. not even like he's like some... He's, he was, he's he have swagger? Nah, he's I don't think he is. He's, just, he's like... They, they call it, again, <laughs> he's like an, they call him, is it, the All-American something, something. Oh, I can't even remember. But. Swagger by name. Yeah. And that about it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> That shit. <laughs> but that's another big signing. So my boy was like, ah, he's going to be another CM Punk. Mm. Here's where people forget. He, okay, Jack Swagger has a more wrestling background. Yeah. People forget what Brock Lesnar did when he came in. Yeah, 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 of course. People yeah. keep forgetting yeah, what Brock Lesnar yeah, did when he yeah. came in. So everyone's relating to CM Punk mm. who came and just gone missing. Bruv. He's in hiding next to <laughs> Bin Laden and them. He's next to Laden and them. <laughs> That's his own cave. He's his own cave. So... <laughs> <laughs> I know what people are probably saying, but they killed Bin Laden. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Sure they did. <laughs> it was the body. <laughs> if they didn't post it on Facebook, it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, like people keep forgetting that that, that wrestling, I think CM Punk didn't have as much a, a, as a competitive wrestling, uh, you know, uh, mm. background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, a, as a rest of them. Uh, oh, as, as Brock uh, Lesnar, yeah. sorry. And so Jack Swagger's got a wrestling background. He said he's always wanted to do it. And I'm sure mm. if UFC was bigger or MMA itself was bigger back then mm. when, you know, WWE superstars was yeah. thumping a Some lot of those guys. Of those guys that direction. Like Kurt Angle, he was mm. always talking. To, he's seen him on Bellator shows. He yeah, even yeah. says like, you know, I would love to. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they managed to drag him back in. Yeah. Uh, to do some it's, stuff. Especially when it was that rawness about my style's better than yeah, your style type yeah, thing yeah, where yeah, yeah, you didn't yeah, really yeah. know much and it was just like, yeah, I'm going to show you yep. if you were getting paid a dollar, then, this you know happen. what I mean? Yeah, people would have been on it. But like you say, WWE was or is frigging massive. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's you know massive. I mean? So a, massive. A, move, a move like that yeah, again yeah. brings heads yeah, yeah, yeah. over. But that's again, just once again, Bellator are just outdoing mm, themselves in yeah. terms of these kind of announcements yeah. and people that they're signing. Again, people are opting out of going to UFC. Yeah. I'm sure Jack Swagger, someone of that kind of stature, who's again, similar mm. to a Brock Lesnar, yeah. can draw like eyes. Again, they signed CM Punk, who's yeah. dead in fight, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. Comparison, in terms of fighting mm. wise, but was a big superstar. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So why did he not go down the same route? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. The, the, the fact that Bellator are signing these people, it just shows how competitive these guys are at mm. the moment. Yeah. And yeah, it's, 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 it's an exciting place. So make yeah. sure you guys, you know, keep watching yeah. that space. There's a lot of stuff. I'm sure they've got a lot more to come. I'm sure they've got a lot more announcements because it just feels two, like... Fa- 2018. 2000, uh, 2018 is going to be a busy year. Yeah. I'm going to be back in uh, uh, MMA as well. I haven't left, but 
I hadn't done any. Yeah. I haven't done any MMA this year. Uh, multiple reasons. Yeah. But I'll tell you guys on Steam It. <laughs> Steam It. Do you know about Steam It? Do you guys know about Steam It? If you don't know about Steam It, I'm going to break it down for you quickly. Right you, got, now. You, got, you, got, you, got, you guys don't know about Steam It? Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Okay. Uh, 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 so, I know a lot of you guys, especially now, um, you've heard of cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies, mm-hmm. Bitcoin is like the biggest one at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, Bitcoin's been floating around for a few years now. Quite a long yeah, time, actually. when we were out in Berlin and Dean told us about it when yeah, we saw yeah. it on, uh, you know, in the shops. We're like, what the hell is that? Like, no idea what it's about. And we just totally dismissed it. Like, it's never going to catch on. And a lot of people did. A lot, a lot of, of people, people did. did. Well, what is it? Two, three years later now, um, Bitcoin is massive. When I say Bitcoin is massive, for those that don't understand this, it is an online currency. Yeah. yeah? It's, they've got their own s- online stock market. Mm. Yeah. Um, there is value to it. And when I say there is value to it, back in the day, and I'll say uh, probably about four, five years ago, if I'm correct, Bitcoin was probably one Bitcoin equaled like 35 pounds now, which is still amazing. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Today. Today. Today, today, you know, like when they say ta-da, that's ta-da. where that come from. That's like ta-da. I'm giving you some history, bullshit history, <laughs> bullshit history. <laughs> so ta-da, ta-da. <laughs> that Bitcoin is one Bitcoin is worth five hundred and no five thousand five hundred and yeah, something yeah. something it's, something it's fluctuating pounds. Obviously, five hundred, yeah, uh, five thousand five hundred, five thousand seven hundred, yeah, exactly dollars. Uh, no pounds. It's dollars. It's, it's like pounds. seven, seven thousand something dollars. Then, then don't talk to me. Then, isn't it? Crazy. Why are you talking to me? Don't talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Yeah. Talk to me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously the online thing is, is blowing up. A lot yeah. more people are talking about it. So Steam. Yeah. There's but there are different. There are very different um, um, cryptocurrencies, mm. as you have. You know, the, you know the dollar, the sterling, the pound. Yeah. Uh, the euros, it's exactly the same thing. And a lot of people are trying to produce their own uh, uh, currencies. Yeah. But Steam it is one that is a lot more simpler to get involved in initially. Yeah. It's um like, put it this way, the, the sell, like, everyone's looking for what are we trying to do? What are we trying to sell? Steam it. Like, you have to buy Bitcoin. You have to pay for Bitcoin. Yeah. Steam it is similar to the platforms you're already using. It's not as, uh, I would say, user-friendly, functional as, because I'm going to be honest here, as your Facebooks and your Instagrams because it's on a totally that, different I platform. Hate, I hate Facebook. Bro. Yeah, yeah, but that's again, but that's I'll that's put Facebook you, on blast. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't stand but, them. But the, the the reality of Facebook is it's really easy to use. It's like it's like having an iPhone and then going to a Samsung. Do you know what I mean? Mm, in in that getting, sense, getting, getting, getting used, to, used getting used to the functions. It's of still it. a very old system because it is very new. Yeah, it's still a very old and it's developing. System, but yeah, it's, it's developing. But the 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 draw the the pluses of it is it's free to set up free you get paid via your interaction on it like your 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 stock goes up mm-hmm. so i uh, if you so look like at, instagram mm. when you post stuff you get likes yeah likes you get people that repost it yeah. or twitter you got you, you know you tweet stuff you get people mm. that retweet, retweet it re-steam each each one of those interactions is now financial yeah basically there you go um and i've just jumped on it and i'm just i've never i have never been excited about yeah. doing social Mikey, media Mikey's not that guy I, I, I don't like the amount of times I've, like, people are like oh you ain't post nothing in ages and I'm yeah. like yeah shit probably should do that like yeah. I have never been excited like right now I'm getting home thinking yeah I need to what, what can I steam right now <laughs> like I'm, 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 I'm actually researching things to post because I want to put stuff out there now that is like pro- good information that mm. like, people can actually re- really kind of learn from. So I'm actually talking about my fighting style. I'm talking. To, I'm going to talk about the the mixed martial arts world yeah. and this. I just want to talk about stuff that Inform- people may not know. Yeah, informative information. Exactly. Yeah, we use the word, but when we talk about informative, we want something that stimulates the mind mm-hmm. that like tells us who Michael is. Yeah, we can be informed by our. Uh, uh, just made a sandwich. No, I mean, just made a sandwich. Yeah, you're informed. But is it, how informative is that? Like when you break down 
what you expect from that one word. And that's why, yeah, the like Instagrams and the Twitters, like, yeah. again, because it's, it's limited on to what you can actually really yeah. post. But this is this is but this is why they are so popular. Mm. Do you know what I mean? This it's is why they're so. Lips. Yeah, it's short. It's what we is what our cultures become mm, now. It's mm. what we want. I just want to see a picture. Mm. Like, how often do you find yourself flicking through Instagram? Oh, yeah, yeah. a picture. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that because it just says it just says it just says it straight away. Mm. And um, initially, I wasn't into that. A friend of mine, Teresa, she was like. Um, oh Marv get into Instagram when it just came out I looked at it I added it to my thing and I was like is this what people are doing <laughs> and I just took it off my phone straight away so I mean I was like this is dead and it was only till like last year and I was like I want to uh, build it so you had a project you know, to do it with I, but do you know what it was it was Steam It that made me want to do that okay. because I was like I was, was going to blog on Steam It and I'd done a couple of blogs and I was like, I'm not really a blogger. Mm. Like I can't sit down. Like, I can write, mm. but I can't write on a regular basis. Mm. So I kind of left it, left it sitting there, but it, it got my brain thinking. I was mm. like, what, what kind of content, valuable content can I add to this? And then mm. that's what got me into the photography thing. Yeah. And then that stimulated my brain to say, okay, cool. What I want to take pictures of. Okay. I love my graffiti. Yeah. involved travel. And then that way now I've got a full package yeah, yeah, of yeah. content to what you're going to put on there, yeah. So yeah, exactly, yeah. So it could be about anything, guys. It could anything. Be about absolutely anything. Like I said, every everything's an interaction as well. Mm. You could just go on there, see things that you find interesting yeah. and repost. At the moment, I think the most popular trend on Steam it is cryptocurrency. Uh, is cryptocurrency. Yeah. So any anybody is that, you know, from what we've just said, is that is interested in learning about it. You might mm. have heard it before and you're like, oh, look, these guys are mentioning it again. Yeah. Go on there, you know, set up an account. Yeah. Uh, take a couple of days. And the reason I say take a couple of days because you have to put your email address and they send you some verifications because yeah. because they are dealing with currency. They don't want people to just, you know, hack your stuff. So it's done mm. quite uh, uh, yeah, secure. It's very, it's, very, it's very secure. Um, but yeah, so set it up. You can, like you would on Instagram, on Facebook, you, uh, on Twitter, you follow people. Yeah. So it's not it's not uncommon to, yeah. you know, what you guys already know. You can find, reset, find people, follow them re-steam it's just a difference in Term, word yeah uh you re-steam what they what they post you learn from it you blog yourself and put stuff out there and like i said each interaction you're actually getting a bit of finance from. yeah exactly now i don't expect to be millionaires immediately yeah. like, i know too many too many people are on this quick get yeah get, get rich quick yeah get yeah. rich quick now this kind of thing you're investing in like you was telling me i mean he was uh mars been telling me for a minute to jump on and yeah. da, 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 and Marv did it, built up some steam it, yeah. transferred it into Bitcoin. Yeah. And now has Bitcoin, his, because Bitcoin is constantly going yeah. up, now has his Bitcoin increasing. So yeah. now it's like, I think, would you say it's like value I, I think, I think I just, something simple as converting like um, 38, uh, no, sorry, 48 steam dollar. Mm -hmm. Transferred that into Bitcoin. Bi Bitcoin, which worked out to like thirty six dollars. Mm. Yeah, thirty six dollars. When I looked at it a week later, it was forty five dollars. And you like must be saying, "Oh wow, who yeah, are we? But let's go from let's go get McDonald's." Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? McDonald's but on me. This is what I'm trying to say. Don't think it's a get rich quick. You've if got you to build get up a involved. following. You build up a following, people, and you are making even these little bits of money yeah. just from. Just from like you know posting, just from yeah. you know sharing. Doing knowledge. what you're already doing and not doing what you're paid already nothing. doing. You're not and getting yeah, exactly. You're not doing getting what, nothing. You're doing what you're something. already. So you know what? Look at it, and when you do find it, us, if you it? don't follow me, I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, racks. Fight you in it. Yeah. So find me, Colossus Thirty Nine. That's Colossus Thirty Nine. Simple. 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 <laughs> and, um, and at Michael Venom Page as always at Michael Venom Page as always yeah. so you see my stuff on there and again just get involved guys just have a, have a look see yeah. what um, come see shout what, us see what you think yeah like I said leave 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 me some messages yeah. um, if you're unsure about it I'll get back to you or get some of my people to get back to you mm. um, and just kind of up, like, you know, update you on how to how you should be doing it if you're having any troubles um, and you just go from there but yeah it's, it, this is definitely the way forward mm, 100% um, it's not just by the, just letting you know if you don't understand cryptocurrency, yeah, you can't tax that stuff. Yeah, it's not taxable. Yeah, non taxable. Non taxable. Yeah, no, but that's what, the setting point. <laughs> but what I will say is if you do come on there, check out our boy 
Nanzo oh, Scoop. Nanzo Scoop. Nanzo Scoop. You can actually check out Nanzo on, on uh, YouTube. I think what I'll do is we'll post uh, one of Nanzo's videos mm -hmm. on... Um, on the page. I'll post it on, my, on, 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 on Mike's page. On, on my page. And um, then that will... And again, he talks cryptocurrency. He's very interested. He's, yeah. he's been into cryptocurrency for what, three years now, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, just yeah. bossing it. Like, yeah, yeah. absolutely bossing yeah. it. He, um, he's he's our, he's basically our guru yeah. when it comes to it. So Nanzo I Scoop. I him today. I was like, ah, <laughs> I need to learn how to do this. Like, I need this, I need that. <laughs> and uh, man, you need, you need the people that can... Um, you know, yeah. uh, lead you in the right direction. And, yeah, uh, even steer what you and get Sophie you Langsford, he was on the show yeah, yeah. a few weeks back, is uh, oh, she's on, on it now. On, on she's the, as well. She was technically the first first MMA, pro MMA, MMA fighter, fighter on, on Steam, Steam it. it, and then. I've jumped on. I'm second. I'm kind of yeah. vexed that I'm second. <laughs> I'm a little bit vexed that I'm second. Sophie, fight Mike, innit? Look, yeah, we like, right, so we're, we're, after your fight, yeah. we, we fight, innit? <laughs> like, we we'll just have a fight. We'll, just, <laughs> we'll, do, we'll grapple. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you tap me, you know what I mean? You, you, keep, you keep your status, You innit? have to come off and then start a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> so the date show <laughs> that Mike was the first ever made fighter, wasn't it? But uh, she's fighting uh, not next this week, but the following week. Following isn't it? week, up in two Newcastle weeks. Against same as girl and Chana, and Chana. Who came on the show as well. Yeah, yeah, we've got to post that as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, same as uh, Marcus is in two Marcus weeks as well. Lewis. No, Marcus is fighting this. Sorry, weekend. this week. You're right. This weekend, um, Marcus Lewis. We speak speak about him like enough. Yeah, all, every week. Uh, from Liverpool, um, he is fighting on here. The information I've got now. I'm not sure if it's from changed. Ice F so, FC. Ice FC. 19 November 18th. Mm -hmm. uh, Marcus Lewis. Uh, I think he fights at welterweight as well um, he's going to be fighting Kieran uh, Chin, Kieran Chin. Um, I'm not sure I've got Kieran Chin 2-2-0 two, two and, oh, and Marcus is 1-0 one, one, oh. um, he one fought, oh. fought what, September I think he fought mm -hmm. his fight done really well again Marcus is from one of the uh, or it's from uh, the pedigree of the one of the original hands down mm -hmm. style fight is one of the biggest names Alfie Lewis mm -hmm. um, but it, to be fair Marcus and this is what I love about Marcus he is his own man mm -hmm. he does his own thing he gives his credit to his pops and you, you I mean you can't not like no, Alfie of course he's a, he's uh, a legend even, even I watch some of Alfie's videos now when he's teaching I posted it the other day and, and I on take, Steam it yeah <laughs> on Steam it and I take I take uh, a couple tips because sometimes he breaks down things that I can see but I, maybe I don't explain it a hundred percent, and Alfie normally gives a really uh, detailed, de not, not even not even detailed. It's, it, it, it. it's because he does it so simple. It's like he understands it so much that mm. it's a lot easier. Mm. And um, I've been watching Marcus. I've watched a couple of his videos. I've watched his fighting style, um, which is really hands down. It's like it's diff it's, it, it's it's building. It's, it's, it's building a hundred percent. What some of his groundwork. His groundwork looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So Marcus Lewis is definitely. Um, one to watch out for, and he'll be fighting on uh, Ice FC 19. Um, and uh, you, not Lorraine Hughes, her son, he's not on this show, but Connor. Uh, Connor. Oh, so you know. So he's into MMA as well. I now. didn't know. I, I know he's been fighting, obviously, I've known him since he was a baba. So yeah. I know he's been fighting all his, all his life, yeah. similar to myself. Is, is his surname Hughes? What's his surname? Do you know? Yeah. Is it Hughes? Yeah. Connor Hughes. Yeah, yeah. So Connor Hughes is another uh, one to look out for. Okay. Yeah. So I, yeah, I'll have some research. We'll post some, yeah. we'll post some of these guys. Right, I'm going to find out when stuff, he's fighting and then uh, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. post some we'll of in, We'll stuff. inform people. Yeah. And then Sophie's uh, the following weekend. I think it's like the 24th or something like that or 25th. Cool, cool, but cool. We'll, we will talk about that next week. So, um, but yeah, you know, we'll, we'll keep it, keep it, you know, respectable. We yeah. keep going for for time. Yeah, you know, like uh, we can talk too much in fuck sometimes. Talk too much in fuck <laughs> all the time. <laughs> when we shut off that camera, we keep talking. <laughs> um, thank you massively again. This that just just giving us this space. Yes, Guillaume, this guy full on Renaissance Don. podcast. Remember, podcast. Oh, can I ask one quick question? Yes. Yeah, yeah. To both of you, what matters most in life? For me, I'd have to say a family. Now, family to me is not blood. It's family. Mm. There's, there's people around me that are family yeah. that don't have to be blood. So, and I'm, I've always been a person like, I'd, I'd prefer to see you guys be rich mm. and be happy. And I, I, it makes me happy. Even mm. if I could help, help you do that, that makes me happy. So for me, I think family, that, that kind of sense of community and support is we, we lose it a little bit in this fast world, especially mm. in, in the city of London, living in this kind of world 
But this kind of uh, the world that we live in 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 central London is very fast paced, very competitive, and no one really looks out for anybody anymore. We're in a place where you could live next door to your neighbor for ten years and not know his name, yeah. not know who they, not really know who they who they are yeah. at all. I think my um, neighbor on this side is called Dave, and that one's Dave as well. <laughs> Dave and Dave. <laughs> <laughs> David, 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 David. <laughs> and that's exactly it. Start exactly. making up nicknames. <laughs> so for me, yeah. So for me, um, family is, is definitely important. Everything I do is for my now family and my future mm. family. Uh, just, just family. Yeah, mm. I, I'm, I'm a very family oriented. I've been raised in a very family oriented way. Very family oriented person. So definitely, like money, all that kind of stuff. I mean, you don't, you don't, you don't go anywhere with it. Mm. We, so. underst- we understand that you need it. Mm. Obviously, to do certain things, you want to achieve certain things, but yeah, that is uh, that is definitely one of it. Because it's weird. Because you asked a question, and my first thought was oxygen. Yeah, and I know it sounds like a okay, bruv. Why are you being a dickhead, bruv? Get mm. me, get me. It's better than being a prick. That's why. <laughs> 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 but like, for me, the reason why I say that is because in most situations, when I break it down, when it comes to fighting, focus on your breathing. When it comes to my day to day, um I'd seen a couple of Guillaume's uh podcasts and little things on on the, on the, on his page. And um I listened to a few bits and pieces and one of the things was like you have what is it, seventy something thousand thoughts in the morning or something like that? Every day. Every day. Mad. Yeah. And in fact I was listening to it when I was when I was walking back from the game yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um thank you, Jamal Ali oh, yeah. as well Hooking for up. sorting this out and uh Brazil, his Brazil, missus Brazil England game. Brazil England. Um so we were walking we well, anyway. were walking back. <laughs> And um, I'm listening to this and what I was thinking is, um, how do I uh, focus on my mindfulness? And part of it is breathing. Mm. And a lot of it is uh, being able to focus on as little as possible what matters rather than having my mind clouded. So that intrigued me that do I have that many thoughts or do I just think about the same thing? quite a, a few of the same things is my have I managed to limit that down and it'd be interesting it's going to be a little journey for me now now that I've heard that uh, statement because mm. I'm going to go and check but one of the things is I always the way I always think I look at my value to the people around me and so for example Michael uh, you know everyone oh you guys are brothers we're brothers but we know we're not brothers but some people say oh yeah you look alike like we don't look nothing alike brother. I'm handsome yeah <laughs> Rex. I'm super happy. <laughs> what up? <laughs> yeah. But for me, I cannot help him unless I help myself. Mm. So even though my goal is to make my family better, the most important thing to me is me. Mm. I, I value what I can give to those people. But what I do is I put my my spirit in a... Lambs. I put my spirit into what I give to Michael. Do you know why? Because I say when Michael's going through a hard time, hopefully I can be there for him, but vice versa. Do you know what I mean? We mm. we can, whatever lessons I teach you in me helping you, mm. that one day you can say, you can see me on my face or whatever, or sad or, you know, because life is about balance. I mm. will be sad at some point. Mm. I have to be if, if I want to function properly, mm. you know, internally, externally and spiritually. And I just hope the lessons that I teach to Mike and the, also the lessons I learned from Mike, we it can spring off. And if, even if I don't help Mike, I help somebody else with it. So the reality is, it is myself. I, I, actually, I do agree, that, agree with that because I've, I've, I've watched many a people kind of do so much for other people and be in a bad place uh, themselves. A very and bad place. then... There, a lot of what they're stressing about is not being able to continue really? helping other people yeah. because they're in a bad place and themselves and there's no one there to help them. So it's, it's like, as you say, uh, before you can, and I've heard many people say, before yeah. you can help other people, truly help other people, yeah. you have to be able to be in a position of being exactly. able to help, lend, exactly. lend a hand. And if you're, you know, you're in the shit, yeah, so yeah. to speak, you, you know, all you're going to do be is a, a, a weight to other people. Yeah. And again, and, and not be and not be able to, you probably frustrate yourself in not being able to give. So, mm. very good point. Very good point. Yeah. Being uh, helping oneself first. Yeah. And breathing. Yeah. Exercises, meditation. Yeah. Um, uh, is is definitely a massive part. Which people again, we just we neglect because it's not something you can. do. It's not an easy 
answer. It's not an easy yeah. journey. It's there though, isn't so it? Long like, it's, there. It's, it's actually there because you're having, you're having anxiety. Breathe, mm. take deep breaths, mm. punch. Stop holding your breath. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, you're about to angry. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Count to ten. Mm. Yeah. It's so the answers no, that's are a the, good point. The, it's all it's all there. Very good point. But because of the way it's used, we just totally ignore yeah, it. We totally it. neglect it. Mm. And you know, we're always saying, Oh, I love such and such more, I love such and such more. But the reality is, even though my uh my passion is for my family, mm. like I say you can't help them unless you're helping yourself. Mm -hmm. And those moments, they're not always, when I do it, I don't help Mike to get help back. That's not what I just said. Mm -hmm. What I just said is, I hope that something I can give him, if he believes, because you've got to look at how we've got come up. You know, Mike's looked up to me uh, when, I, when he was younger and he doesn't realise I look up to him with the stuff that he's done. But at the same time, you know, this, me and Mike don't always agree on things. 100% we don't always agree on things, yeah? But we know we've got a relationship where I can hear him out, he can have his debate, he can say his point, and I say, okay, I can say my point, and we'll go away and we'll think about it, and we will learn to deal with that amongst, because the love for each other is more than whatever that point is. Mm. <laughs> so we will respect it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And that is the difference. This is how you uh, become successful. It's not necessarily the financial. We want financial so we can do good things for each mm. other. We can put each other in a better position. But that whole money thing is, uh, you know, it can be, you have to be mindful mm. with it as well at the same time. Mm. So that was, that's actually a very good question. Yeah, and no, I like it. Like, yeah, like yeah. It. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Powerful stuff. <laughs> Powerful stuff. But again, thank you for the studio space. Yeah, um, love, guys, man. go and like literally um, jump on his podcast, yeah. jump on his website. Um, and just learn, yeah. learn, soak in, be a sponge, and yeah. and soak up as soak. much as as much as possible, and, and and literally, you know, make it make it a part of your life, man. Mm. It's definitely definitely going to be beneficial to you if you're in sports. If you're not in sports, day to day, whatever you're doing, yeah. it'll definitely be beneficial to you. Um, shout out my sponsors, Bad Boy, Luke Clothing. I do a lot of stuff with Luke Clothing. Yeah, Akaj, uh, Akaj, and then Andre sorts me the out. brand that's coming soon. <laughs> Are you seeing this, bro? MVP? Are you seeing this? Are you this, seeing the, this? Is, <laughs> this is not to be messed with, fam. Bro, do you know what? It's not. It's not just like a sports brand. Like it's. This is an every. This is a. This it's is a. a it's, this is a people brand. It's a luxury yeah. brand. It's a people brand, and it's coming very soon. Yeah, and this is where me and Mike fall out. You know why? <laughs> Because it's only one of those. This is where <laughs> this is where me and Mike disagree. <laughs> cut the cameras. Cut, the, cut them cameras, man. <laughs> Guys, thank you for tuning in. Yo, Talk to Mike and Fudge. Much love, yo. Be careful where you say that. Yeah. Be careful how you say that. <laughs> um, or practice at home. Say it right. And, and again, hopefully tune in again next week. Um, What's the studio space saying? What's going on with that? Oh uh, yeah, so we're just looking to set up our, our, ourselves. Yeah. Um, but again, like this is a beautiful thing. Guion huh? walked in. Guion hooked us. Gion, hooked, Gion, us Gion. Gion. hooked us. Up. He didn't even. Hook I got us a green up, screen behind yeah. me. I might put space behind me. I'm, I'm bro, gassed no, right now. Put a packet of quavers behind. Bro, quavers. Bro. Quavers. It's just right. floating in the air. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, nah, I love it. actually this space here is absolutely amazing. Inspiration. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. Inspiration. It's def this is definitely inspiration. Learning mm. about what uh, a podcast space should be like. Yeah. Um, and what but you know, what I want to do with our personality, bro. Like when we looked at it, like the things we could do uh -huh. with uh, just the space, yeah, with with mm -hmm. our own space. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, amazing. You can get some pictures of me up in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Thank you for thank you for having us, man. Yeah, it's, 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 you've, you've actually just hooked us up massively. Being able to talk to you know the supporters and the uh, the others. <laughs> um, but guys. Uh, I know I didn't do like many question and answer. You guys are a bit too far away right yeah, now. We can't, can't, yeah, we can't read from there. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so long, but don't worry. Like, shoot fire, fire questions over again mm. with, with this cryptocurrency stuff. If you want to just send me a message, yeah. I'll be. Uh, I'll we, have we, someone looking looking yeah, into that. Yeah, we're still learning. We can put. We in are the still right learning, direction. and we can be learning together as a yeah, team. So bounce off each other, man. let's uh, let's do that, mm. family. Peace out, man. Talk to mocking fudge, talk to mocking fudge, talk to you know that we talk to mocking fudge.